hello guys welcome back to this channel this video is about how to wire two gang two-way switch to control two separate lamps that is this gang is going to control this lamp this gang is also going to control this lamp and that is two separate light fixtures and over here is the switch itself this is two gang two-way switch and one side of the switch we, we have l over here that is the live wire supposed to be connected to this side this is l or the common we have l1 at this side and this side is l2 it is the same switch we have here we have l at this side we have l1 and l2 and you all know that the neutral is always connected to the lamp holder and the live is connected to the switch or if you don't know the neutral cable or the neutral wire is always connected to the load and the live wire must pass through the switch the switch is what is going to send the current to the load or prevent the current from entering into the load that is that so what i want from you is to follow my lead as i do the wiring everything is going to be explained thoroughly this is my circuit breaker the live is at this side and this is the neutral so what i'm going to do is to connect the neutral to the lamp holder first i'm using the green cable as my neutral cable or my neutral wire to this side i want this lamp to also work so i have to send the neutral signal from this side to this side so what I will do is to use another green cable and connect from the same terminal. I have to open it and then connect the same section. I've connected the neutral from this side to this side. With the neutral, you can loop it from the main source, that is from the breaker, to this side. But here is the easiest way. I have this lamp holder beside this lamp holder. So I can easily connect from the same section to this side. And it's okay. I'll be using the red wire as my live. To the live section. This is one switch and this is also one switch and with this switch we have the live terminal on this side this is the live terminal so what i have to do is to connect the main live to this side and we're going to use this side of the switch to control this lamp and this side to control this lamp and in order for this side to work you have to loop the same live to this side and that's going to be a jumper a piece of cable from this side the current to this side you can do that only if you want to use this side but if you only want to use one side of the switch there's no need to connect a jumper from this side to this side so i'll use this wire a piece of wire and loop the live okay the cable has already entered into its section as i said this is a jumper and this is the main live wire coming to the switch. This red cable you see here is what is going to be the switch wire for this lamp. So what I will do is to connect from L1 to the lamp holder. You have L1 and L2. So right now I'm going to connect this cable from L1 to the lamp holder. You can also use the L2. The only thing that is going to happen is the switching position is going to change. If I use the L1 and turn on the lamp, something like this. But when I use the L2, it is going to be like this. This position is what is going to turn on the lamp. So that is that. You can use the L1 and L2 only if you want the switching position to change. If you want the switching position to be like this, you just use the L1. If you want the switching position to be like this, you use the L2. And it is going to work. So what I will do is to connect this cable to L1. the lamp holder and as i said this is the switch wire this cable is what is going to send the current to the lamp holder also going to use this red cable as the switch wire for
for this lamp or this lamp holder. So guys, you have successfully done with the connection. So what I'm going to do is to insert my lamp itself. This is a screw type, so I'll screw it all the way down. Have this one here. We have the neutral coming all the way from the circuit breaker to one side of the lamp holder, the terminals. We have two of them to one side. And then I use another cable to loop the same neutral signal from this side to this lamp holder. That is that. And the live coming all the way from the circuit breaker to the common terminal on the first switch. This is a switch. One switch and this is also one switch. To the first terminal. That is the common or the live or the L. And then I use a jumper to loop the same live signal to this side. And these are the switch wire, this cable. I use the L1 to this lamp holder and this one to L1 to this lamp holder. What I'm going to do is to cover it and then we operate it perfectly. We have successfully connected all the needed components to be connected. What I'm about to do is to turn on the circuit breaker and operate the switch. Okay, this is working. This side is also working. So guys, that is that. This is how to control two different lamps using two gang two-way switch. And as I said, we can actually use the L2 and it is going to work. Now, I connected the switch wires to L1, L1. This is the switching position. If I change my hand, I will remove from the L1 and connect it to L2. This side is rather going to turn on this lamp. So quickly, I'm going to remove the cable from one side of the switch and connect it to L2. This is the switch wire for this side. I remove the switch wire. Connect it to L2. So guys, that is that. I've removed one of the switch wires from L1 to L2. This one, I maintained it. You want to see how the switching position is going to be. Turn on the breaker. So right now, this lamp has turned on automatically. You also have this one too. This is actually how the circuit is going to operate. If you mix up the L1 and the L2. So if you want the switching position to be one side, just connect all your switch wires to L1 or L2 and it is going to work. So guys, that is that. If you are looking for a video on how to wire two gang two-way switch to control two lighting features, then I recommend this very video for you. If you find this video helpful, consider subscribing to this channel and turn on the notification bell so that anytime I drop a video, YouTube is going to notify you. Thank you for watching this video and see you in my next video.